Alright, so we're back with uh, game two of Rally Ascension versus Mardu Agro, I guess is what it's called. Yeah, this is a fine hand. We've got all the tools we want. For his turn three Drana, we have a turn three flesh bag. For his Sarkin, we have an Amazon Charm. For the value, we have the Ascendancy. We've got a Rally. Pretty much a sweet hand. Just need more lands. Now we go drew a land off Mystic. Visionary, I mean. She's putting in some work. There's a Drano. Too bad it's attack land. We would have got Drano. This game would have probably been easier. So, in this case, you just play Ascendancy. You don't want to edict his um, Blood Soak Champion and just get a free hit with Draina and a Raid Trigger to use all that mana he's got over there. So he's going to swing in. We'll block the Champion. Take a bunch of damage. We got our first blocker. All right. Now we can get Draina. Make sure you sacrifice your Edict creature. You always want to sacrifice the creature. You never want to sacrifice your tokens because you can't get tokens off tokens. Unless it's just some kind of weird corner case where you need a three power creature on the board and you know it's good. I guess in that case, then you do. So uh, we'll just ping so uh, Sarkin. Just make sure he don't get out of hand for some reason, in case we kind of lose board state. And we'll eat it, get another spirit token. Like I said, you can see our hand is full and he's down to nothing. And the game is completely in our control. Attack him. We'll set up for the exile. So we've got a husk in play. That's all we need now to rally. Without losing the, the extra visionary in the grave. So he's gonna try to silk wrap. So we'll sack our visionary, get our trigger, we'll sack the husk, get a trigger. That silk wrap just. Mm, mm, mm. So put our other husk in the graveyard. We discard to his uh, Kologon's command. He's gonna play out his Draina, and that's a very timely top deck. It's not like we didn't have it, but. Got two rallies with three edict effects in the yard now. We can just sit here and just ping him with uh, tokens. That's why this deck is so great. Mistake on his part, plus and Soren. We should have made a vampire token. Play out the horror specs. And Colgon expand, that's fine, we'll get a token. Play as Draina again, just like a vampire. We'll go ahead and rally. Put your visionaries first. We have perfect information. But it's nice having the horror specs in there. Because what just happened, we drew into a Zula port off the top. We haven't made, made land for turn. Play Caves. Play Zulaport. I'm just going to run through these triggers right quick. We're just draining them with one Zulaport. You can see how many spirit tokens we have. We have 11 tokens. I guess he just wants to see us run through it. And we picked up the other two rallies. And he's dead. And we're left with five spirit tokens, a Nantuko, and a Zulaport. Those two, of course, would have to be 
sack in the backswing. I mean, we left the way it generates, you know, so many tokens and, oh man, the deck is just absolutely insane. And board wipes don't hurt it. Um, I don't like the exile effects. Like, thank God Anger of the Gods is gone. Like, Anger of the Gods just wreck. Could wreck our board state. But it's at sorcery speed, so it's not so bad. Um, some of the Eldrazi mechanics, the exile mechanics are kind of annoying for us. It's kind of like card disadvantage. We lose a card to exile. That hurts us later in the game. And um, I'm trying to think. So I'll go over Anna Fenza on the deck tech. She's not that bad as what you think. It's not like Anna Fenza, you've got to fold. You just, you know, you stick to the strategy of the sideboard and you play it. And it's worked out for me so far. It's not a problem. Um, don't run Anna Fenza in your deck as a counter to an opposite rally deck. We have the built in advantage with the ascendancy. I would guarantee just about every time we would lose a game against, we would win every game against every other rally deck that doesn't play Ascendancy, no matter what style build it is, just because of the value of the spirit tokens coming in. The combo with the Zula port to kill you. You know, the built in card advantage with the Horus specs. And I'll run a full seven edict effects just to keep the board at parity until we get to where we need to be. He said it takes a long time. The deck is slow. It's just a real slow, grindy deck. Um, the mono red match is not that bad. Um, the Atarka red with the combo Teamer Battle Rage probably isn't so bad. Um, we main deck a uh, a um, Minister of Pain just because of hanger back. And so many tokens going around, and one one toughness creatures. That a main deck um, minister of pain is actually quite good. I very rarely find myself boarding her out. And uh, there's some more. There's some some effects that are relevant in the sideboard that I'll go over. But uh, thanks for checking out this video, and let me know what you think.